good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Adidong News, AI Anchor, Ari. At an economic ministerial meeting held on Tuesday, the South Korean government promised immediate support for residents who suffered damage from the recent heavy rain. The government also requested that ministries take preemptive measures ahead of the heat wave that usually comes after the summer monsoon. Due to the unusual weather, Deputy Prime Minister Choi sang mok said food prices could possibly go back up in July. Accordingly, the government promised to release around 300 tons of Napa cabbages and radishes from their storage each day, and support the reseeding of flooded crop fields to stabilize supply and demand for farm produce. An arrest warrant has been issued for Kim Bum Soo, the founder of Kakao Corporation, over allegations of stock manipulation. After a near four-hour interrogation at the Seoul Southern District Court on Monday, the court issued a warrant at around 1 a.m. on Tuesday. The allegations of stock manipulation come in connection with the acquisition of SM Entertainment in February last year. Kim is alleged to have manipulated SM Entertainment stock prices to prevent a public takeover by Hype, a competitor looking to acquire SM Entertainment. Kim had previously strongly denied these allegations, and stated that it's unfortunate for such allegations to rise at a time when the company is working toward corporate reform. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris began the first full day of her presidential campaign on Monday afternoon by greeting campaign staff in Delaware. She expressed her intentions to earn the Democratic nomination and win the election. Harris said a rival Trump will bring America backward to a time before many fellow Americans had full freedoms and rights. Speaking of her past role as California's chief prosecutor, she also called Trump a predator and a cheater. Meanwhile, Harris praised U.S. President Joe Biden's, quote, legacy of accomplishment that is unmatched in modern history. Biden joined Monday's event via phone. He said his decision to withdraw was hard, but added that it was the right thing to do. On Monday, the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry said at least 70 Palestinians have been killed and over 200 injured in Israeli attacks on the Khan Yunus area in the southern Gaza Strip. The Israeli tank shelling and air strikes hit early in the morning after thousands of Gazans were ordered to evacuate the area, which had previously been designated as a safe zone. The Israel Defense Forces said on Monday evening that the latest operation in Khan Yunus was based on intelligence of terrorist activity and efforts by Hamas to reassemble its forces in the area. Tottenham Hotspur including the South Korean national football team captain Son Heung-min have embarked on their tour of Asia. Tottenham on Monday announced a squad of 31 players who will travel for the pre-season tour of Japan and South Korea. Rodrigo Bentenker, who recently publicly apologized to Son Heung-min for a racist comment that he claimed was a joke, will not participate, as two others who were part of their country's Copa America and European Championship squads. Heading to Japan for the first time in 33 years, Spurs will play J1 League champions Vissel Kobe this Saturday at the Japan National Stadium. Then Spurs will head to Seoul to face Team K League on July 31st, and then Bayern Munich on August 3rd as part of the Coupang Play series. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.